Buongiorno, this is Chef Rosario with the National Pasta Association. And uh, today I'm gonna get a little sentimental. I remember one of the dearest memories. My mother, she would get up early in the morning to go and look for the mushroom, for the porcini mushroom, uh, up in the woods, in secret places. And she would come home with this wonderful porcini, and some of them she would dry to be used later in pasta dishes and other preparations. And this is what I'm gonna use today along with some other wild mushrooms. So I'm gonna soak this porcini with some hot water. An hour, half an hour, depends on the porcini. With this ones, about half an hour will be enough. Other ingredients, very simple. I got some other wild mushrooms. These are oyster mushrooms. Uh, these are shiitake. The preparation is, again, very simple. You just remove the stems and then you slice them like this. Uh, the oyster mushrooms too, you can remove the stalk, the heavy stalk, and now you have them ready to go. Just um, break them by hand a little bit. Fall is coming and the aroma of the earth, of the mushrooms is coming alive and here we are. I'm gonna just smash, as usual, my garlic right here. Let me talk about the pasta. Tagliatelle, it comes from the word tagliare, to cut. These are fresh, packed in a modified atmosphere package, or you can get them dry, like this. These are a little wider, these are called pappardelle. They are like wide fettuccine or tagliatelle. This uh, today, they look wonderful. These are dry. And I'm gonna use about eight ounces of pasta uh, for my recipe. So let's go to work. In some cases, when you cook dry pasta, I start with the pasta and then I do the sauce while the pasta cooks. But in this case, the fettuccine, they cook very fast. So I'm gonna start the sauce first. Butter and uh, garlic. So quickly saute uh, the garlic and I'm going to put first these uh, fresh uh, wild mushrooms, about um, two cups. While these mushrooms are sauteing, I'm going to inspect my porcini here and you can see they are soaked now, they are beautiful. Um, I remove them from the liquid carefully so that don't, not to disturb if there is any sand on the bottom. If I see this like this, this feels a little sandy, I'm gonna discard it. Some recipes and some people like to use the water. If you wanna use the porcini water, make sure you filter it with a very fine uh, filter. I'm gonna put them here and I'm going to cut them a little bit so that the flavor gets distributed better. So at this point I can add the porcini to my saute, to my mushrooms. The aroma is incredible. Ask my cameraman if you don't believe me. <laughs> and I'm going to put uh, half a cup of heavy cream some pepper and a little salt here. When we say salt and pepper to taste, that's what it means, you have to taste it. The flavor of the woods, delicious. I'm gonna let this, like we say, reduce. Let it cook down a little bit, intensify the flavors. And now, yes, now it's time to cook the pasta. I'm gonna salt the water. I'm gonna put about two portions of the fettuccine. So about eight ounces. Look at this. This is just getting ready. The pasta will cook in four or five minutes and we are ready to go. I'm gonna do one more quick try here to, for salt and pepper. Perfecto. 
pasta is ready and uh, this is the easiest way to do it just I'm gonna put it here and make sure the precious liquid a little pasta water just to make sure that we keep it moist this pasta is now absorbing the juices the creaminess don't let it get too dry so now I'm gonna finish it with a, some Italian parsley and some Parmigiano Reggiano look at this This is ready to be served. Voila. Pasta in heaven. Tagliatelle ai funghi porcini. I'm gonna just inhale the aroma. Instead of eating it, I'm gonna just inhale it. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Buon appetito and share the pasta. Mm -hmm.